All right, I have some zen for you. Okay. Picture this. Picture really I'll picture asleep. it. Okay. <laughs> a 16 acre garden in Delray Beach. The second you step inside, you're transported to Japan with bonsai trees and so much more. This morning, WPTV's TA Walker shining <laughs> a light on the Murakami Museum in Japanese gardens. This is one of those places, even if you've lived here all of your life, you've got to go to different times of the year, take visitors. TA, we actually heard, although I don't see the rake in your hands, but maybe you're doing some manual labor this morning. We are, we're gonna learn how to rake this Zen garden. I'm here with Heather and Heather, you can't really tell this on the TV, but uh, there's a building all around us and we're actually outside. What is the significance of that? So here we are at the Yumato Khan um, and the garden that we're sitting in right now is known as a courtyard garden. And the idea is to bring the connection of nature into the living space. We, you, we were talking earlier and you said most Americans, we want curb appeal for our houses, but in the Japanese culture, it's kind of reverse. You want to see curb appeal while you're looking out, right? Correct, absolutely. So what is the first thing we do when we're raking this, uh, this these rocks? Uh, <laughs> this is so heavy. It is a little heavy. Okay. Um, so normally we would completely start with a blank canvas and you start with one line. So, um, and then you put those two teeth in so and the, you build all these lines off of the original one. So I'm putting two teeth in like training wheels and then I'm dragging. Yep, you got it. And then you're making these beautiful lines. And then how do you decide what the pattern is? Uh, we keep the pattern very simple. The garden itself should not outshine the rest of the space. I think I'm messing it up. That's I have okay. a merge lane going on. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the turnpike. People are merging on both sides of you. No, that is okay. Uh, we have a big giant, we have a, a rake that acts as a racer and you can start all over again. <laughs> Good. We're going to need it. It's like etch a sketch. I start it and I shake it. And I'm like, <laughs> so how long has the museum been, been here? Uh, the property was uh, donated to Palm Beach County in 1976 by George Murakami, who was part of the Yamato colonists, part of an agriculture experiment uh, here in um, South Florida. Um, the original Yamato Colony was in the area where um, uh, FAU currently is. So um, when you come to the garden, it's really like, it's kind of weird because you're in this booming metropolis and then you turn the corner and suddenly you're just in pure serenity. Absolutely. We have 16 acres of six different historical periods of Japanese gardens. Some of those gardens don't even exist in Japan, just I, parts of them. I'm bailing out of this. Oh, that is okay. You got it? <laughs> <laughs> it's just not going to work if I'm trying to be like all lined up. That is not my personality. <laughs> well, Heather, thanks for being with us. Uh, Holly and Ashley, this is actually harder than it looks, so we're going to clean it up and uh, not pay any disrespect. To you did okay. Don't worry, I'll fix and it. And fix it. <laughs> Others you did great, it. absolutely. <laughs> and you stayed awake. Well, I did. You know what? <laughs> Growing up in New Mexico, our landscape primarily consists of rocks because it's too yeah. hot, the desert, for grass to grow. So you learn very quickly as a child there is an art to doing it the right way. Aw, T.A. is working on his craft. Thank you, <laughs> T.A. So. You have something you'd like to see?